everyone, Christy here with you today for a tutorial on how to use liquid masking fluid to mask an image to prep for airbrushing the background. So I've got this digi stamp that I colored with Copic markers. It's called Swing May. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to mask her with the masking fluid. I'm using Winsor Newton. And then I'm going to use the Copic airbrushing system to airbrush in the background. Alright, so I have two different um, paint brushes. One is very thin and the other's kind of got a wide flat tip. And that's just so I can get everywhere that I need to. I'll open up the bottle. And it kind of looks like Elmer's glue a little bit. So what you're going to do is you're going to put a thin coat everywhere, get that gunk off, um, that you want to mask. Eh, get the gunky off. Alright. Um, gosh. And it's going to be kind of like a consistency of um, rubber cement kind of slime thing when it's done. So, I'm just going to kind of get a little dab, and I'm going to start on the image. You want to try to be pretty consistent and stay within your lines. Now you can get a white version, I think I saw, and I got the clear one. I thought the clear one would let me see better where I was putting masking fluid but you know if you want white you can go for that too it seems to dry pretty fast so if I was you I wouldn't dally where you're gonna get a gunky brush probably not going to be the most cooperative when you're done. You want to make sure if you're using this to um, pretty quickly rinse your brushes out or stick them in a cup of water afterwards so you don't get, you know, glueified brushes. Oops. Make sure that you get everywhere that you don't want airbrushed. I'm trying to get very close to the black line edge without going over, kind of like a Price is Right deal. But you have to be very fast or it will start pulling back up not being as precise about this top part because I want some reflection up here and my brush is getting all sticky alright now I just gotta get the thin spots I mean, I got a pretty steady hand and all, but I didn't think I wanted to try doing these little rope bits with the wide brush. Didn't seem like the best time ever. Alright, now I'm going to let that dry a little bit, and when we come back, I will start on the airbrushing. Um, as you can see, I've still got a couple little wet spots here on my image, but I figure we might as well go ahead because by the time we get the background all sprayed up, it should be dry. So I've got my Copic airbrushing system. I've got it attached to a compressor. So if you hear some buzz buzz in the background, that's what you've got going on. So I've got a few colors to do a kind of a sunset background. You can see from my coloring that I put some yellow highlights on the side 
um, because I was intending to do that kind of a background for her. I've got V06, RV55, YR15, and Y15. For your airbrushing, you want to use some pretty strong colors because then you can get a little more control over how much saturation. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and turn on my air compressor. Isn't he cute? See? And then it fills up the little air can and it waits until it needs more air. Then it'll, you'll hear it come back on. So it's going to pop in my thing. I'm going to get set this aside and get out a tester piece of paper. Okay, here we go. Just to make sure that I've got it in there like it's supposed to be. Little tweak. So what I'm going to shoot for is to do a graduation from purple down to the yellow. So I'm just going to turn it upside down so I can start going that way. Now it's going to feel a little weird to spend all this work coloring your image and this is a blast right over it with your airbrush. But remember we have the masking fluid on so you don't have to worry about it so much. So I got it. It's already making me wiggle a little bit. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm gonna switch to the pink. Test that. Thank you, Mr. Compressor. Get my nails all nice and purple. See, that's my thumbprint. Good thing I'm cutting this out. I don't think I'm ever going to get used to the idea that I spent, what, like an hour and a half coloring over something, you know, coloring something just to spray over it. It's kind of giving me a little mini stroke over here. Because what if it doesn't work? What if it looks like crap? Well, you're kind of stuck with it, but that's how it always is, isn't it? Even if you're airbrushing or you're coloring. The idea might work in your head. It doesn't mean it's going to work when you get it to paper. All right. All right. I'm kind of going on a side-by-side -side motion. You kind of want to go swish, swish, swish. Because if you go this stop, you're going to get a pool where you stop on the sides. So if you've ever done any spray painting, you know it's kind of the same idea. Okay. Let's go to our last color and then decide if we need to add some more purple or anything like that. hard to tell because you know you've got you've covered everything you've already done but I think I'm gonna grab the purple and add a little more up top just to darken it up a smidgen Okay, a little more pink. 
You know, I could be on this all day just so you guys know. I'm a big tester. I don't want to go in blind. Alright. A little more pink and then I think we'll probably be done. I want that blend to be a little nicer. Okay, I lied. A smidge of orange, but the yellow should be good. You know, I could be lying again. But I'm sure I'm not the only one who does this. I swear to God, it looks completely different when you have it backwards. And then you flip it around. But since I'm doing my graduation down this way, it makes me more comfortable to flip it. Alright. Oh, yeah, there we go. Much happier. Alright, so I'm going to cap this. Look at my nice, wonderfully colorful nail now. And I'm going to turn off my compressor so it doesn't keep coming on. All right, so now if you touch where you mask, it's kind of a sticky. So all you have to do to get it to come up is once it's dry, and I think I have a couple, then you just start rolling it. You know, if you've ever had to peel um, tape off the back of a card, especially like the ATG taping kind of, or I don't know if you ever did this, but when you were a kid, but to put the Elmer's glue on your hand, then kind of, and then peel it up. Same idea. If you've never done that, it's kind of interesting. You should try it. So we're just going to start right up in one corner. Ah, uh, yeah. And just work our way down. It's the moment of truth. If you've done an even coat, then you should be pretty good. You can see it's probably a little thin in these couple spots, but you can also take an eraser to those and kind of pull them up. Ah. Oh. Keep going. Let go. Oh, I overdid it there. But we can come back in with a marker and kind of fix that too. Let go of her face. Man, I, we were learning right now that I did a really crappy job brushing. It's really hard to see. Maybe that's why people get the white. See, this side's really nice. This side, not so much. <laughs> For some reason, it's making me laugh. my eraser just kind of it would help if I had a clean eraser not a dirty eraser what about you oh let me clean you you're better that is my all the time drawing eraser And this isn't my all the time drawing eraser is because when you push on it it slides back up into the dang chamber which drives me nuts
See? See, that's why you gotta put a slightly thicker coat than I did right here. It had to be on her face, you know, it couldn't just be like in the grass or something. So that's how I roll. Damage and destruction. Okay, I'll come back to the face because it's making me mad in a second. So I'm gonna go back to my markers. Very gently touch up the spots. Try not to get onto your airbrushing because it will have a completely different look. You might have to go back on it a couple times. You can see that it's already doing a pretty good job of filling in where apparently I rushed because I didn't want the video to be 800 years long. That'll teach you. Slow and steady wins the race, turtle. Now I'm taking up all the time I was trying to save by doing that and filling in all my mistakes. Or, if I wanted to sound super smart, I could just say, yeah, I planned that so I could show you how to fix it. So that's what I would do if I was smart and had thought of that earlier. <laughs> the lighter colors are much easier to fix than those darker ones. Alright. So I got that touched up. I'm going to go back and see if I can't clean up her face. Oh, there's coming. Well, anyway, I'll finish fixing this off camera, but you pretty much have the idea. And I'll show you a finished picture here at the end of the video, but pretty easy. Now, I hope you try this technique and have a lot of fun with it. And if you do, um, post a link either on our Facebook page or in our community. Or if you can, in the comments below the video or on the blog post for this video. Now, if you also enjoyed this video, please give us a like. That helps us move up in the results when you search and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you next time.